Okay, so I went to get a stitch marker because I want you to start using stitch markers so that you can get used to identifying where your last stitch is because initially it can get a bit confusing and if we keep missing those stitches, we're gonna to start to create a triangle instead of a rectangle. So this is the top of our last stitch. So if you turn your work and you look at the top of it, do you notice those Bs just like our, our chain? Those are the stitches again. So each V is a stitch. It's the top of the single crochet that we just made. So you're gonna look at the last V and you're gonna slip this in under both Vs, like both, both legs of the V. And that's your last stitch, okay? We're at the end. You're gonna chain one, and then you're gonna turn your work. We're gonna start working in that direction. So look, there's our stitch marker. That's the next stitch we're gonna go into. Sorry about that. That's the next stitch we're gonna go into. You can leave your stitch marker there if you like, or you can slip it out if you think you're not going to make a mistake. But if you're afraid, you wanna make sure you're getting it in that stitch, then leave your stitch marker there and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hook into that stitch with the stitch marker, grab your yarn, pull it through. There's my two loops. Grab your yarn and pull it through both loops. That's my first single crochet. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to slip that stitch marker out and you're now going to put it on top of the stitch we just did because that's going to be your last stitch. So the first stitch and the last stitch tend to be the ones we forget. So again, there's the V. We have the two legs of the V. You're going to slip it under the two and you're going to leave it there. And then you're going to keep going. Now, as I said in the class, now it's so much easier to know where to make your stitches because you're going in that hole right there and then that hole right there so pull it a little bit so you can see okay the top is the V so you're going in that hole and if you look at the top of your crochet hook you're gonna have your two legs of the V on the top that way you know you've gone through the whole stitch again under and you're gonna grab the yarn pull it through there's your two loops in front of the yarn, under and around, grab it, pull it through both loops. Okay? Have a look, see if you can figure out where you're going in next. If you said right there, you're right. In you go. Grab your yarn, pull it through, adjust. Grab your yarn, pull through two. There you go. You're now doing your second row of single crochet. You're going to do that all the way to the end. Now, if you want to make sure that you haven't forgotten any stitches, once you get to the end, it's always a good idea to count your stitches, okay? Now, you're not at the end yet. This is your last stitch. We didn't put our stitch marker there, but you'll see it'll come handy once we get to the other side. So in we go right there. Sometimes you have to find it, look for it. There's the two legs of the V. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Grab the yarn, pull through both loops. There you go. You're now done your second row. Again, if you want to count to make sure you haven't forgotten any stitches, you should have 24 stitches if you're following the pattern. Count this one as your first because it has the stitch marker. That was our first one. And count every V across. Or if it's easier, you can count every group of stitches, like every group of pieces of yarn into that one hole. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, or you count the beats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, whatever you find easiest. So we're at our at the end. What do we do? Chain one, turn your work. That's the stitch, sorry, that's the stitch we're going into. Okay, right here. You're gonna do another row of single crochet. There you go, all the way across. If you wanna slow the video down to see what I'm doing, you can. Pause it. And you'll see things will move along a lot quicker now. Oops, see, pull it all the way through. And coming up to the end. And there's that end stitch. You can pull your stitch marker out. But I think you can see it pretty clearly now that that's your end stitch. In you go. Grab your yarn, pull it through. Grab your yarn, pull through those last two loops. So there's your three rows of single crochet. One, two, three. Now we're gonna do our row of double crochet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do your chain one and you're gonna turn your work, just like we've been doing. Double crochet, we're gonna double crochet in that first stitch, same as we've been doing. But here's how we do a double crochet. So before we, we're going straight in, but before we go in now with the double crochet, what we're going to do is we're gonna put our hook in front of the yarn, under and around, then we're gonna put it in that stitch. We come up behind the yarn. We just grab it to pull it through. We have three loops on our hook now, adjust. You're gonna grab the yarn just like we do for the chain and you're gonna pull through two loops only. And I'm gonna still have two loops on my hook, adjust again, under and around and you're gonna pull through the last two loops. That's a double crochet. It creates a nice post. That's what it's called, a post. So again, under and around, grabbing your yarn, going into the next stitch. Under the yarn, you're just gonna grab it and pull it through, adjust, in front of your yarn, under and around, Pull through two loops. I have two loops left. Grab your yarn again. Pull through the last two loops. And there's my second post. You do it again. Grab your yarn. In the stitch. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Adjust. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Grab your yarn, pull through two. That's a double crochet. It's not any more difficult than the single, just one more step. Under and around, pull through two. Under and around, pull through two. Again, under and around, in the stitch. Grab your yarn, pull it through. Grab your round, so you're grabbing your yarn, you're going under and around, pulling it through two, under and around, Pull through two. Grab your yarn into this stitch. Pull the yarn through. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Grabbing your yarn into the stitch. Pull it through. Grabbing your yarn, pull through two. Grabbing your yarn, pull through two. Again. Again, feel free to slow this down. Now we're coming up to the last stitch. There it is there, you see the two loops? Or the V, the two legs of the V. You're gonna go in there, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn, pull through two, grab your yarn, pull through two. 
you're at the end. Now the pattern calls for you to do three more rows of single crochet. So you're gonna chain one, which it doesn't count as anything. So it just gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So that's the stitch we're gonna go into. And like I said, if you're having trouble finding the stitch, when you get to the end, put your stitch marker in the stitch so you know where you're going into first. And when you get to the end, put your stitch marker so you can find your stitches more easily if you're struggling. Another way to make sure you haven't missed a stitch is by counting your stitches when you get to the end. If you're short, undo it and start over. Okay, so single crochet in, grabbing your yarn, pulling it through two loops, grabbing your yarn, pull through those two loops. One step. When you're pulling through the loops on your hook. There you go. That's it. So you're going to do three more rows of single and then you're going to do another row of double. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Have fun.